Dad gets mad at me really for doing wheelies. Dude, dude, that's so dangerous. It's, it's that not if you illegal. even touch me, do you know what's happening? Touch you? I'm not even touching you. I don't want this in my neighborhood. I'm calling the cops. Okay, call them. Good. Because it's kids like you that are going to hurt somebody. Oh, okay. Why don't you go somewhere in Stanford and do that? Do it. Don't do it downtown anymore. The cops don't care. They're going to. So why care. do you care? Because you're going to hurt somebody. And if my friends are here and you do it and you run Your into friends? them, they're going to knock the f out of kids like you. Okay. I suggest you get the f out of this you neighborhood. I I'm going to call the cops because I'm tired of you being here and you've run into I me before. Run into you? Not yeah, even. Yeah, oh, you my have. God. Good, I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Go call them. Watch what they're going to say. And, and I can tell you, dude, you're looking for an ass whooping from some people. Here. This is... This is uh, <laughs> Ramon at university, this kid who's run into me more than once. I, I haven't smoke. run into you. I'd like you to send policemen down. This kid is doing something that's highly illegal. It's not and illegal. I want to. I want. He's riding his bike without a front tire, <laughs> and he's running into elderly people running, in oh the middle God. of University Avenue. And I want to file. My name is Iken. I, I want him right. Iken, and I want that. No, stay here because the Bro, cops are going to oh write you up. Okay, that's your male Karen. Here comes anti Karen. I know, dude, don't leave the scene of a crime. It's because not I'll a crime. have to tackle you. It's Send literally... the cop down to University of Ramona. There's going to be an incident. Okay, take off. Take off. Okay. Can you walk? I'm trying to walk. Yeah. My producers are the best. They came up with the superhero music themselves. That was our touch to it. Um, so this male Karen, obviously really upset that somebody has the audacity to have the skill set to ride a bicycle and pop a wheelie. He calls 911, or at least that's what he says. He then tells them, "Oh, the guy's running into me." He's like, "I haven't run into you." No, no, he's running into elderly people. No, that didn't happen either. And then here comes anti Karens. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, this may be the start of a new trend. We have seen anti Karens before. Now, they are rare in these videos, but we now, as a focus on indisputable, we have a new agenda. We are looking for more anti Karens in the world. Are you an anti Karen? There you have it. Look at that hero. A regular damn Avenger. Dina Dahl, what are your thoughts? I love the anti Karen, <laughs> especially because you know she's a female and here's this kind of aggressive male. I think yeah. it took a lot of courage and um, moral clarity on her part. So good for her, and I do hope we see that more. And you know, I think that we need to start prosecuting false police reporting more because he lied so many times in that police call. And we've talked before, you know, once the police come. Things can happen, and why not instead stop the phone calls before you know that bring them to mm -hmm. incidents? So I think we should be actually prosecuting these types of phone calls more than we do. I agree with you 100%. And as I say often, when you call the police, you're calling a gun. That's what you're calling to the situation. So you're telling me this male Karen is saying in order to remedy whatever this made up conflict is that he has really created. He needs a gun to the situation, okay? Then he proceeds, yes, to lie. Now, why is he lying? Because he knows that this kid committed no criminal act. So if he tells the truth to 911, he also knows that he will look ridiculous, which means his motive was, manipu was manipulative from the beginning, he knew no crime took place. He knew what the kid did was not criminal. And he had enough sense to understand that if he's going to call 911, he has to make it seem like a criminal act had taken place. This Karen got plenty of sense. This male Karen got plenty of sense, right? He knows exactly what he's doing, why he's doing it, how to do it. And he's utilizing his privilege to do so. And he's telling them, I need a car here. I need a car here right away. Um, 
What should the penalty be or what is the penalty for filing a false police report? Because when you tell the 911 operator something that's a lie, that's a report that goes into an official record. Yeah, absolutely. And it's prosecuted so um, rarely that it's unclear. Most yeah. likely, I would say a misdemeanor. Yeah. And you know, he actually even threatens him with bodily harm, which could also be something on top of that. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, he, okay, fine. He doesn't like him, but instead, he ends up committing, you know, I think, a crime in order to, like you said, kind of justify his privilege and have power basically over this boy. Let me highlight another crime that I think I saw here. When the young man was trying to leave, right? Um, especially after the anti Karen came and said, listen, are you okay? And started like blocking to make sure this guy could leave because he was trying to leave. Is that a criminal charge? You're, you're literally being held against your will, even if momentarily. That could be, I mean, he is on a bike, it's a little bit unclear. There is this front wheel missing. I don't know how much he's betting being blocked. But yes, if he is not letting him leave, physically cannot go, that, that's absolutely a crime.